Hello. Last time we talked about OnlyOffice macros and their features. Also, we built some simple OnlyOffice macros together. Today we'll talk about complex macros. In this lesson, we will build the highlight duplicates macro. This macro helps us track uh, the duplicate values in the selected area by highlighting them with different colors. For reference, we used this VBA-based macro. Now let's take a look at the VBA code. So we define the dimensions first. Then we check if certain cells have been selected. In that case, we store the range of the cells in the xtxt variable. If none of the cells have been selected, then we store the range of the field cells. Now we create a window where we will input the cell range. Also, we pass in the xtxt variable. This way the window will contain the suggested cell range. It will represent the selected cells or the field cells. And we close the macro if the xrg variable returns empty. After that, we set the color index and add a new object. Then we go through each cell in the variable and if an error occurs, we continue executing the code. After that, we need to identify the duplicate cell and highlight it. So we add the current cell to the collection and we use the cell text as a key. If the 457 mistake occurs, we add the X index variable to set the unique color index for this cell. Then we store this cell in the X cell pre variable. Then we check if the fill color of the cell hasn't been set. In this case, we fill the cell with the color that we acquired above. If the cell has already been filled with the color, we just leave it as it is. And if there are too many duplicate occurrences, we display the error message. Now, let's see how we can do it with JavaScript. First, we need to set the background color of the cells with the non-repeating values. For that, we'll use the createColor from RGB method and store it in the white fill variable. Then we set the current index of the color range. It will be our starting point. Now we need to create the color range to highlight the duplicate values with unique colors. We'll store this range in an array and again we'll use the create color from RGB method. Then, we add a function that will help us get a unique color for the duplicate values. It will go through the unique colors array, and if you run out of the unique colors, it will start from the beginning.
Now we need to target the active sheet. To do that, we'll use only Office API. In particular, we'll use the API active sheet method. It returns object that represents an active sheet. Then we get the selection on the active sheet. It means that we pass in the cells that we selected in the editor. After that, we create an array for the cells with duplicate values. And we add an array that will store the range of all the selected cells. Then we need to mark the duplicate cells. To achieve that, we will add the for each function that will go through each cell in the selection. After that, we get the value from the cells. If the map values array doesn't contain the value property of the current cell, we set this property to zero and add it to the map values array. If the map values array already has the value property, we add one to the value. Also, we add the current cell range to the R ranges array. Now we need to highlight the duplicate cell. First, we will define another value variable and the map colors array. Then we go through the selection and retrieve the values of the selected cells. If the value is repeated more than one time, we will fill the current cell with a unique color and the non-duplicate cells will be filled with white color. Now let's run our macro. Our macro is working as planned. I also suggest using this highlight duplicates macro as a template for creating new macros. To achieve that, we remove all the parts of the code that include selecting the fill color and highlighting the duplicate cells. The only part that remains intact is the part that detects duplicate values. Now we need a method that will clear the content of the duplicate cell. I suggest using the clear method. It clears the current range in the spreadsheet. That makes it a perfect candidate for this task. We include this method in the else statement that we run if the cell has a duplicate value. So let's run our new macro. I hope that you had fun building those two macros with me. You can find the Highlight Duplicates macro in the sample section of our Help Center. You can also easily access this page by scanning the QR code right here on the screen. I kindly suggest visiting our API documentation page. There you can find various API methods that can help you build your own macros. Feel free to ask questions and share your opinions with us or even your macros. We are open to discussion and cooperation. All the required links and the contact information can be found in the description down below. In our next lesson, 
we'll be talking about how to use our API methods to create macros without even writing a single line of code. Thank you for watching and best of luck in your exploratory endeavors.